Hey Sagittarius, this is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot, and yes, I made it. I made it to the Sag reading. I'm so sorry that it's late. It's better late than never though, I suppose, but I've been traveling. My setup sucks. The internet connection sucks. I've just had a really hard time uploading these videos. So, I'm here. This is your reading for from whenever you see this until whenever it stops resonating with you. I am going to post mid-month readings and around the 18th probably, and you guys will be first and then Capricorn because I haven't done Capricorn yet either. So my apologies, please, please uh, have some patience with me and this setup. I want to get started. I hope you understand that and uh, let's go. So as a money reading, what we're talking about right here is in regards to your success with the King of Wands, there is some kind of toxicity going on in your financial situation that is preventing you from progressing forward in your current position, whatever that may be, self-employed, job, doesn't matter. But there's some kind of toxicity that is preventing you from moving forward. The alchemist comes in as a bridge between the King of Wands and the Devil. This alchemist says that you need to manifest your way out of this situation. You need to manifest your way out of this situation. I want to talk about manifesting real quick without getting on a soapbox, okay? Manifesting in online tarot readings, YouTube tarot readings, is thrown around fast and loose, okay? A lot of people don't understand what manifesting is, and I want to point this out. This alchemist, which is the magician, right, in any deck, all the decks, the magician has all four elements of the tarot on the table in front of him or, or floating around his head in some other decks, right? This means manifesting, okay? This is the instructions to manifest via the tarot cards, okay? A lot of people think manifesting is just sitting, you know, in the lotus pose and, and thinking about things, which it's part of it, but it's not all of it. If you can see, he has the sword there, right? Swords is air energy and it represents our thoughts and our decisions. So yes, manifest with your thoughts. Absolutely. You are what you eat as much as you become what you think. However, he has the, the pentacle there too, which represents earth energy. This talks about putting in the legwork that needs to be done. This is sowing the seeds. This is putting out resumes. This is communicating with people, networking with people, going to meetup groups, making yourself available for this, um, for whatever it is that you're manifesting to, 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 to be accessible to you. The cups come in and say you have to use your feels and your emotions. You have to sew whatever it is that you're manifesting into the fabric of your being. Be it. Live it. Believe that you are it. And then we have the wands, which represents the fire energy, right? Cups is water. The wand, which represents fire energy. This is about... None of this would happen without the wands. We have to have the wands in the group of manifestation tools, right? Because if we don't have the inspiration, if we don't have the fire burning in our chest, if we don't have the manifestation and the fire burning in our chest, none of it makes any sense. So manifesting means to use all of your resources to pull it unto yourself. Okay, so manifest your way out of this situation because it's preventing you from moving forward, okay? I want to say right here that until you realize what this toxicity is in your life, your reading stops right here because you can't move forward. This reading is about manifesting your way out of this toxic situation in regards to finance and work and business, okay? And until you can pinpoint what this toxicity is, you can't move forward. So that is your first assignment in this reading is to, to identify what this, what this devil energy is for you, okay? Because it's preventing you from moving forward. The Prince of Pentacles is about planning for your future, okay? The Six of Cups comes in and tells me that this 
person, place, or thing that is blocking you from moving forward in your life is something that is currently in your life. The Six of Cups is about memory, nostalgia. It's something familiar to you already. The Two of Wands comes in and talks about, it just reiterates, future planning, progress, decisions, and discovery. This card is, is telling you to identify this and make the decisions that you need to make to loose yourself from this situation. When you do loose yourself from this situation, <laughs> you will be um, engulfed in a sense of excitement. It's a sense of excitement, free spirit, and enthusiasm. You will be allowed at this point to plan for your future, to have some, some foresight and some preparation, right? For the for these ships to come in. Six of Wands says decisions. I'm sorry, the Six of Wands says uh, progression, forward movement, public recognition, progress, self-confidence. With the Three of Pentacles about who it is that you have teamwork and collaboration with. This is three people coming together to work on something. What we have next is the tower moment. This tower moment, I don't think it's chaos and upheaval in your life. I think it's an epiphany. I think it's a revelation and an awakening because what follows it is the seven of pentacles. You are coming to some kind of understanding within yourself that what you've been investing in is not reaping the profit and reward that it should be. This guy is disappointed that he's grown seven pentacles. Now they're not bad pentacles, they're good healthy pentacles, right? I mean, <laughs> go figure, but they're good healthy pentacles. But he can't do anything with them until he has 10, because 10 is the number of completion. Seven is the number of contemplation. 10 is the number of completion. So he, he can't do anything with these until he gets 10. And he's like so disappointed because he only has seven, right? This is you in this situation, coming to the realization that your efforts are not being rewarded. Star card comes in and says that you have hope and faith, that there is purpose in renewal in this, in this business financial career situation. You have hope. You see things, you see better things down the road for you than what you have right now. Temperance comes in and says, apply some balance and some moderation when it comes to the Seven of Cups, when it comes to making choices about this situation. Don't freak out and be all impulsive, calm, cool, collected, logical, and methodical about the way that you're going to go forward. The way that you're going to go forward in regards to the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is about apprenticeship, education, the quality of your work, engagement, working on it, and trying to gain mastery of your skill set. Queen of Swords comes in and says that you've made a decision. You have made a decision that you're about to execute. You send out some communication with the Prince of Swords. This is action-oriented communication. Some people say it's orientated. Some people say it's oriented. I've been saying orientated, but I've been corrected in the comments that it's oriented. So whatever, whatever fits, put that in there. But this communication is going to require action, okay? So you are taking action on the situation. There's your decision, there's your action. This action results in a, a sense of emotional fulfillment, followed by the Four of Wands. This action results in emotional fulfillment that brings celebration and harmony into your life, into your home, into your marriage. It brings harmony into your life. It also represents something by which you will be able to build a very good foundation from which you can springboard into the rest of your career. <clears throat> Down here, we have the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords talks about betrayal, deception, and just general shady behavior. Hear the siren? I'm telling you, it's so, it's just so much. This that represents some kind of shady behavior. 
this also represents breaking free of mental challenges associated with this shady behavior. It directly relates to this, this toxicity in the devil card right there. It directly relates to it. So you're going to break free of those mental challenges. There's the Eight of Swords right there, reiterating mental challenges, right? So you're, you're, you're trying to work through all of this. Even though you made the decision and you executed it right here, you're, you're still working through the mental processes of what you've done. And as soon as you realize that you can take that blindfold off of your eyes and see clearly, you will present as the Empress. The Empress is the queen of all queens. She's the culmination of the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. This, this card is telling me that when you come out of this Eight of Swords mentality, you are going to feel very, very in control of yourself. And you are going to realize that you, my friend, are the fertile ground by which you are going to build abundance in your life. The King of Cups reiterates the Empress. The King of Cups comes in and says you have emotional balance and control. Three of Cups, you feel a sense of celebration. You feel a, friend, a sense of celebration, friendship, creativity, community. I mean, you're just feeling really good about your decision. Five of Cups comes in and talks about um, moving on, giving forgiveness where forgiveness is due, accepting the situation, and moving on. Five of Pentacles comes in and says you're leaving something out in the cold. You're leaving this whole situation up here, this blockage, this toxic energy, this whatever this thing that is going on in your finances, in your workplace, you're leaving it. You're leaving it out in the cold. Justice comes in and says you are justified. Truth, fairness, cause and effect, and law. This is the universe saying, I got your back. You are justified in your actions. You're justified in your decisions. What follows this justification of the decisions that you've made in your life is the Princess of Pentacles. This is the manifestation of a new financial opportunity in your life. The Queen of Wands, sheer determination, sheer determination, crossed by the Lover's card. In this business reading, this Lover's card represents harmony and values alignment in the choices that you make in regards to the relationships in your life, which was not present up here, right? The Hermit card comes in says you're going to give this all a good think, right? You're going to give this all a good think. You're going inside, doing some soul searching and some introspection. The four of pentacles comes in and says that the reason you're in this hermit mode is because you're feeling insecure. You're feeling insecure. Although you made this decision and, and you see the forest through the trees and you're moving forward, um, you can't help but to feel just a little insecure, right? Just a little insecure about things. Judgment comes in. So while you're in this hermit mode, you, you make a decision that is going to change the trajectory of your life. We can roll a decision around in our head until the cows come home, but until we actually execute it, it's meaningless. This judgment card is about you executing this whole decision right here. It's, it's about pushing the button, pulling the trigger, and it's, it's changing the way that you live your life. This is a dual purpose card right here. This card, the sun card, indicates that this decision that you're making, you're very satisfied and happy with. Very satisfied and happy with it. And the sun card also represents that, that you see things clearly now. You know, when the sun breaks on a cloudy day and you can just see things, that's what that card represents. The Princess of Swords says that you are formulating a thought pattern by which to follow through with this decision that you made with the Judgment card. Prince of Wands comes in, says you are off the hook excited. Off the hook excited. This is the Knight of Wands. This is about 
um, energy and passion, lust for life, action, adventure. It's about, um, it, it, just, it just tells how you feel really, really enthusiastic about the direction that your new life is going. New life, the world card. This is a card about completion, integration, and accomplishment. One life cycle is completing, a new life cycle is beginning. You are integrating everything that you learned, not only from, from the mental processes and the thought processes in this reading, but everything that you've learned about this toxic situation, about this manipulation, about whatever this was, right? You're integrating it and you're going to apply it in your new life cycle. You know, life cycles are not a gimme. We can't just start a new life cycle on a whim. Even if you packed up everything you own and moved to another state where nobody knows you, you can't start a new life cycle until you learn what you need to learn from your current life cycle. The universe, they're not a gimme, right? The universe awards us the opportunity to enter into a new life cycle because they see us worthy because we've learned what we need to learn from the current life cycle. So Sagittarius, you're only being released into this new life cycle because you've learned what it is that you need to learn from your current life cycle. That's the completion and the integration, the accomplishment, because you've learned. And the Ace of Pentacles, the manifestation of a new prosperous financial opportunity. And I'm not going to hop on the, on the soapbox about manifestation again because we already talked about it up here. But that's the key there is the manifestation. Okay, this is only, aces are only given to us. I mean, look at that card. This is an opportunity being given by the hand of God, right? By the universe, by source, whatever you want to call it. Okay, I call it source. This is an opportunity being given to you by source itself because you have prepared the soil, tilled the ground, cleaned out all of the debris, and you have a beautiful foundation with the Empress right here, right? A beautiful foundation by which to plant this seed, to tend to it, to procure it. The universe will give you the seed, but it's your responsibility to grow it right? So it's not a gimme. You know, this new life cycle is not a gimme. You earned this. This new prosperous financial opportunity in your life is being gifted to you and you have to have, you have to take care of it. That's your responsibility now is to take care of this and grow it into something that is abundant and beautiful. And that, my friends, Sagittarius, is your reading for the financial portion um, of, of, of this, of this spread right here. Now I want to remind you that I'm going to go back and I'm going to do this exact same spread in a love reading. Okay. I'm going to go do the exact same spread in a love reading. So if you're interested, click on the next video that you see come up with, with, uh, um, my stuff on it and, um, it'll be a Sagittarius love reading. So there you go, my friends. Namaste.